Hello, hello, hello. Hello, my stampin' friends. How are you today? It is Fun Fold Friday, and I'm going to try one that I've never done before. I'm testing the light here while I'm trying. Uh, we're not going to use this paper, but I am taking a poll. I have a question for you. So we're coming to the end of both the mini catalog and the annual catalog, and there's only so much time left. And I am like hyper excited with all the products that I haven't used. So I'm doing a poll. Would you rather see a class made based on Legendary Ride, which these has have dies that make motorcycles, and it has all this great card stock? Uh, would you rather see a card based on Legendary Ride, or that's upside down? I'm sorry. Or would you rather see a class designed around share a milkshake? Because I'm probably only going to get one more class in before we're out of out of the new into the new catalog. So I'm taking a poll based on share a milkshake or based on legendary ride. Throw in the comments what your opinion is. And uh, well, let me get up and put mine. We'll see. <laughs> Joelle's going to put hers on. Her husband rides, so he, she's probably going to say a legendary ride. All right, so yesterday, if I could find them, we I was showing you the make and takes, and we played with them, and I showed you how you could take the make and takes that I sent you if you make a $35 purchase. And the make and takes are based off the beautiful gilded paper. Happy Friday, KB. All right, we got one legendary ride. Joel Angela says legendary ride. Happy St. Patrick's Day. That's right. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Everybody's Irish, right? So the naturally gilded paper has six sheets, um, and it's two of each color. It's like a copper color, the gold color, and a silver color. It is one-sided. Hi, Kay. And you get the kits to make two of each card if you make a $35 purchase. But yesterday we were playing, and I was showing you how you can change those up. Oh, now we have a milkshake. I'm not going to lie, milkshake's my favorite, but Legendary Ride is Joelle's. So there might be a little competition going on here. Joelle, you can't vote! <laughs> That's no fair! Uh, so we made these yesterday, and... Um, using the card kits that I was sending. So today, I thought we would use this paper and get a little fancy with it. So I brought in the Ginkgo Branch. I brought in Around the Bend, mostly because I just wanted to use this, just wanted to say thanks. And I brought in the dies for the Ginkgo, Bran Ginkgo Branch, and I have die cut this beautiful piece out of gold. I love it. I kind of feel like it matches with this gold. Even though this is not ginkgo, I kind of felt it complemented it a little bit. So let me put these aside, and I'll show you what we're going to do. We're going to make a fun fold. And, well, I'll show you, actually, what I did. I had to practice this one. You know... That is the reason why I'm considering Angela the uh, men's class. Um, they did a baseball suite before, and sports is good. I kind of wish that there was, I don't know. I, I know in the past there's been golf, there's been fishing. I feel like we just never have a great wide assortment. So I'm going to say Angela's voting for a legendary ride, but she didn't actually type that. So here's what we're going to make today. Uh, Pat, how are you? Pat says men, too. All right, girls, I'm hearing you. Um, so this has a belly band on it. Now, I used this punch, and then I looked it up to find out the name, and I found that it was gone, of course. So we're going to change that up. But I did practice this because I wasn't really certain how this was going to go. So I wrote down measurements, and basically, this is what we're going to create. Now, unlike yesterday, you cannot just use the products that come in the kits I send because the card base is not quite, hey Betty, how are you, is not quite the right size for it. So for this one, we need to have an 11 inch sheet and we need to cut at five and a half. Like that. 
Okay, and then we're going to turn it, and we're going to score it one and a quarter. Pull my blade down. One and a quarter, five and a half. Oh, and she cut it. We're going to save this for something else. That makes good scrap. So again, <laughs> an 11 inch sheet, cut it five and a half. I'm putting my blade all the way down the bottom. Then we're going to go one and a quarter. You would think how many times I do this, that I wouldn't continue to make that cutting mistake. Muscle memory, Joelle says. I say lame brain. She's much kinder than I am. Then we're going to score it five and a half. So one and a quarter, five and a half, and then the last one is going to be nine and a quarter to that last score, like that. Okay. Then I can close this out. I am going to cut one and a quarter. This is going to be for my belly band. Let's see here. I'm trying to look distance through my reading glasses. It's not working out for me here. One and a quarter. It stinks to get old. I'm not saying I'm old, but I might be old. All right, so that's going to be for my belly band. We are going to have to trim that down, but I'm just going to cut the general. And I'm going to take this paper and put it on the long way um, because it's going to be on the belly band, so I don't want my flowers to be sideways or my branches. So I'm going to cut one inch so that when it's on the belly band, it's face up like that. Can you see that like that? Okay, then we are going to cut a piece that's four by five and a half. This is going to go on the inside of the card on the left-hand side where you don't write. It's a pretty glitzy card. And then I'm going to cut two pieces that are five and one quarter by one inch. Like this. These are going to be the pieces that are on the little flap here. This flap and on the inside of this flap. And then we are going to cut one that's one and a half by five and a quarter. That's going to be the second wider flap on this card, this flap right here. Okay. I think I can move my cutter. I think we're about done. All right. So like I said, I die cut this kinko. And I am going to start with my belly band. I am just going to add, this is kind of backwards to start at the end, but that's what I'm doing. Now I'm, I'm putting it on vanilla, even though I could probably use just the belly band. I'm choosing to put it on vanilla because I figure if it's being pulled on and off this card a few times, it could get um, worn pretty quickly. I'm trying to line it up. There we go. And I'm going to just trim this in. I'm going to need to trim more, but just for now, just to get rid of the big bulky piece. Okay, let's go to our regular card. So, I am going to fold my card in half. And then, I have my wider piece here. I'm going to fold that. Oh, you've never seen this. Okay. Well, there we go. Let me get a bone folder. I don't even know what it's called. Um... And I saw it. I'm not sure where I saw it. And I spent some time before I went on air. So hopefully this wouldn't turn into one of those hour and a half videos. <laughs> trying to figure it out. Okay. So that's the basic card. So I'm going to take this wider piece and put it right here on this flap. This is a very minimal stamping card that I have designed. You certainly, wouldn't it be pretty to stamp flowers or 
I'll take my reading glasses off because I'm. Um, this would be very pretty stamped if you didn't want to do DSP, but I know most of us have a lot of DSP, and it's good to use it up. Oh, that one's crooked. Let me try to pull it up. Oh, look at that. I don't want to drink myself. I don't want to drink myself as a cup. Ah, yay! It's kind of hard because of the vanilla print on the vanilla. It's hard to tell where the straight line is. Okay. Now we're going to take these two one-inch strips. And again, the pattern has a right side and a wrong side. So you want to make sure it's facing up. And then we're going to take the other one inch strip and we're going to put it on here. But I need to make sure. So I want it to go this way. Because again, I just want to make sure it's facing up. I'm doing one run of tape. You may want to add a little more than I'm doing. There we go. Okay, and our last piece, I'm going to put in here. Because you don't want to write a novel to someone. <laughs> Maybe you do. I don't know. I don't. Let me put it to you that way. So I'm going to put this last piece, again, making sure my orientation is right on this. And I want to try to line it up with these edges. There we go. Okay, now we have the belly band. So what I do with the belly band is, you could score it, I don't. I don't like it super, super tight because then it makes it, if it's super tight, it's really hard to get off and on. And I want it to slide nice and easily. I don't want mine to catch. So this is why I fold it. So I know that I want my circle because I want this piece to be about here like this. So I want my circle to be right about here. So the seam needs to be covered by the circle. That's how I'm deciding where this piece is, where to fold the first fold. And then I could trim it and have it neat. But again, for extra durability, I'm actually going to use this whole piece if it doesn't overlap too much, which it may, just a little bit. I am going to snip a little bit off. I'd rather have a little bit overlapping for durability purposes. And I'm not going super tight. So now what I'm going to do is, here's my end. I'm going to go from here over with adhesive. I do think that this adhesive is strong enough. You could use Stampin' Seal Plus or a liquid glue. And I'm looking to line up. Now, my stripe is a little crooked. It's a little lower here and higher here, but when the circle's over it, it's not going to matter. Only, we're using Lovely Label Punch because this one is current. And I'm going to use the Just Wanted to Say Thanks out of Around the Bend. If I can find my stamp, because I already did. I like to stamp first and then punch because I can adjust my punch to however my stamp is if my stamping is crooked. I'm using crumb cake. I think the crumb cake complements the gold nicely. I think it's a nice compliment without being flashy. You could certainly heat emboss gold. And... Like that. And then I want this piece to cover my label. But I also need to make sure that this piece isn't like off the edge because it would get folded in the envelope. So I want to kind of know exactly where it's going. So I'm going to hold these two together. This is so scientific, isn't it? I'm going to hold these two together. And I'm going to just put my fingers right there. And I'm going to add tape under these pieces so that they stay. Whoops. Like that. Let's just double check. So I'm covering my seam 
hard for you to see, but the seam to my belly band is right there. I want to make sure I cover that. So now I just need some dimensionals. And I'm going to keep my dimensionals off the curvy parts because the curvy parts, the edge of this fits just about there. So that's how I'm going to keep my, know where to put my dimensionals. I'm not going to put them on the curvy parts of the stamp. I'm just going to put them on the one inch strip in the center. I hope that's making sense. Sometimes I know what I'm saying, but that doesn't mean I communicate it well. Okay, and then, if I've done it right, we should be able to pop that right on there. And you can move it a little higher or lower as needed. And let's get some bling. You know what would be pretty with these? We have little gold beads. I don't know if we have little gold beads currently. Let's see. Mm, I don't love a nose. Oh! Pastel adhesive gems. I'm just using the gold out of the pastel adhesive gems. Maybe we put one or two down here. <clears throat> and I'll slide this one up a little bit and throw one or two down here. Like that. There we go. I don't have a name for this fun fold. Sadly, I don't know what it's called, but uh, I think it's cute, and I love it. All right, I'm going to just check uh, anniversary card. Yes, that's right. Use the silver paper for the, for the 25 and the gold for 50, and you could cut this in silver or gold. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it is pretty pretty intricate now if you made this you could really like you know you could decorate this if you wanted where I was using this intricate die I left it a little more plain but certainly you could really go crazy with this so I will photo this and I will get this on my blog along with the bingo cards which I have not done yet I am sorry to say but I will get those on the blog and uh but let me put that there if you can zoom in and see that. So you see the basic measurements if you don't want to wait. And like I said, um, if you haven't voted and you want to vote, put it in the comments. Would you like to see... Well, we used Kinko Branch. That's what I used for the dies. And uh, I used around the bend for the sentiment. And I don't know what happened to my stamp sets. I know that's a shocker, right? Um... Oh, I see them. So if you haven't voted, I'd love to hear your input. Would you rather see a class on Share a Milkshake or Legendary Ride? And likely they will not be stamp set dependent. Usually mine aren't, although I will offer free shipping if you decide. So put in the cards if you have a choice either way. And uh, can I say put in the cards? And then put in the comments. <laughs> one of those days. Both. You are working me, girl. <laughs> yeah, <your> <laughs> Maybe I should say you are working Joelle. <laughs> All right. Oh, another legendary ride. There we go. That was Joelle's instinct. So, All right. Well, girls, I will see you Monday. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe. Stamp. Love to see what you have. Feel free to share with me. I like to post shares. I know a few of you have shared with me this past week, and I will get them up over the weekend. And I'll see you Monday. And happy St. Patrick's Day. Who's cooking corned beef today? You guys do smoked shoulder or corned beef? Let's have another. Mm. Let's have another, Paul. I'm doing corned beef. So, um, all right. Thank you very much, you guys. Have a good one. Bye.